Right. You just get used to getting screwed by the Jewish media. Mm. First of all, we are Semite. We right. Jew. So I can't be anti-Semite. Right. I am the richest. Right. Right. They say you're the richest black man in American in, in, history. In history. I want y'all to come kill me. No. I want you to smack me. <laughs> <laughs> all Jewish people are not bad. Please say that. I just said it, yes. and I have a project mentality. Somebody shoot me, shoot at me, kill one of my homeboys, then it's fuck they whole block. Now you get it? I'm me tooing the Jewish culture right now. Mm -hmm. You can't call me anti-Semitic for saying I'm going DEFCON 3. I think what you said was say that, 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 that sounds pretty anti-Semitic, except for the fact that I am Jew. <laughs> the man himself, Kanye West. You guys are supposed to be made aware to use my legal name, Ye, and these on the Chiron changed my name to Ye. Why'd you uh, change it? Sir. Uh, I need to have the name changed. We'll change it. I don't owe people an explanation. Let's go. Now, what's the questions we got? Oh, you're not up on the Kanye drama? All right, Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, he appeared on the Drink Champs podcast in those first clips you saw there, and all hell broke loose. It's ironic that the show started this way. Last time he came here, he said, cancel me. He pointed to himself. He said, cancel me. They did not cancel. They could not cancel. Is Ye cancelable? They're trying. They are trying hard. What would happen if we cut Kanye off? Of course, he's still going to find an audience with the Tucker Carlson and those white supremacists in the world. But if we as a culture decided we were done with Kanye, is he still cool? Shout out to the sponsor of my coverage. An attacker's worst enemy is attention. That's why I highly recommend the Scream Siren. Scream Siren is the ultimate personal protection alarm. Yeah, they require no training or skills to operate and can be used by anyone regardless of age or physical ability. The fact of the matter is victims are often too traumatized uh, to shout or fight back in a dangerous situation. Criminals hate attention will likely run away after realizing that this alarm won't stop. Nearly 100,000 users trust the Scream Siren with their life. Try the Scream Siren risk-free for 90 days and for up to 50% off by clicking the link in the description box down below or by visiting ScreamSiren.com. You were on the episode of the show on HBO with Kanye that they yanked. I was. What, was there anything in that conversation that when they yanked it, you was like, oh, I see why they yanked it? But again, it's not my business or place to speak on another man. Don't give praises and love to the one, the only, Mr. Yay! Make some noise! But well, I'm going your... through it right now. I don't feel phenomenal, I can tell you that. Yeah, I'm pretty disappointed in uh, yeah, how yeah. the situation uh, played out. Nori, the Drink Champs host, apologizing, backpedaling now. Yeah, Twitter's my favorite place to go. I can't even open my Twitter right now. I should have respectfully just bowed out of that conversation. Instead, I tried to... Instead, you know, I, 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 I knew that he was agitated. You know, I talk about the left, the Democrats, and how they prey mm -hmm. with BLM on our outrage. Mm -hmm. You know, even when I put up the DEFCON 3 uh, tweet, I was outraged at this point. What does DEFCON 3 mean? It's like level of... This is like you know, end. actually, when it's, really def, when it's DEFCOM... It's like nuclear war yeah. shit. Like, I, I, spelled, I spelled it wrong. I have a tendency to do that. But right. DEFCOM is actually that you're preparing to right. protect yourself. I was trying to let it, you know, uh, you know, to the end so I could bring it back up. But by that time, I got inebriated and I, and I, I wasn't articulate with my words. Do you now regret saying DEFCOM free on Jewish people? Kanye digging his heels in in a non-apology apology. Are you sorry you said that? No. Nothing it matters. You should be. Absolutely not. You know, I will say I'm sorry for the people that I hurt with the DEF CON, the, the confusion that I call. I feel mm. like I call I cause hurt and confusion. And an epic showdown with Chris Cuomo as he says he's gearing up to buy the Parlor app, which was canceled in 2021 following January 6th. So people are using their technology to silo any messaging that they don't agree with. So couldn't it also be that you have said things that offend the community guidelines, like anti-Semitic comments and things that are seen as insensitive uh, and potentially threatening to communities that we try to protect? Well, I don't like the term anti-Semitic. It's been a term that's allowed people, specifically in my industry, to get away, to get away with murder sometimes, literally, <laughs> you know, and get away with robbing and 
doing bad people. People always say, oh, I got screwed on a deal. Is it, have, would that become a surprise to you if I said, hey, a music exec screwed someone on a deal? Does that sound kind of like normal, commonplace to you? So for me, as, it doesn't have anything like, to do with being anti-Semitic unless you believe that all record producers are Jewish or, you know, it's when you talk about Jewish no, no, people no, specifically you're, you're as that, targeting them that creates a problem. You're saying it's anti-Semitic, but I don't believe in that term. One thing is black people are also Jew. I classify as Jew also. So I actually can't be an anti-Semite. So, so the term is actually, uh, it's not factual. But I don't I, you know, I just, understand you think that, but I don't think that's a common understanding that um, I understand black that people can say whatever they want about Jewish people. Well, I'm willing, so I'm willing to talk with inside the common understanding until we get the truth. The common understanding oftentimes, more oftentimes than that, nowadays, is not the truth. All right. So th think about this. But let's just take a woman could have one bad man in her life that can make her dislike men. Mm -hmm. Let her have two, let her have three, let her have four. There's got to be over 10 times that I've been screwed or bad business has been done with me just in the past two years, in the past two years alone. And what I'm doing, I'm calling up the Jewish community as a whole to say, people say to me, oh, we grew up on Ye. And Talk to your brothers. Ask them, why is Jay upset? Everybody, all they want to do is silence and shoot the messenger. But, yeah, but, but yeah, I'm you not have the to understand. Person. You have to understand how. Wait a second. You have to understand I'm not finished, sir. Huh? Um, all right, but you already made a point that I need to deal with. But go no, ahead. Let me know when you're done. Okay. Every, thank you very much. And I don't mean to be rude on your show. Thank you for, uh, for the platform. Um, everyone wants to shoot the, shoot the messenger. And you look at how your point was going to start. You have to understand. But the thing is, the Jewish people that I'm talking about don't have to understand. And that is that privilege that I'm not going to allow. Kanye is upset at Jewish privilege. Jews primarily identify as white. This after Kanye was attacked for wearing a White Lives Matter shirt. You know what I like about this? Mm. The, the Jewish media was pushing the narrative off the white life white lives matter t-shirt that i didn't love black people and i That's came back came off. and i came back and i was like no fuck the jewish media and everybody's like what kanye's appearance on drink champs even led to him being sued by george floyd's family for 250 million dollars why because of these comments I, I watched the george floyd documentary that candace owens put up one of the things that his two roommates said was they want a tall guy like me they want a tall guy like me and the day when he died, he said a prayer for, you know, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. He said a prayer for eight minutes. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. When he said, mama, mama his, is his girlfriend. They said he screamed for his mama. Mama was his girlfriend. It's in the documentary. But throughout the about three and a half hour podcast, Kanye repeatedly kept talking about Jews and a lot of disdain for a lot of Jews. And I'm not a fan of obsessing over race, ethnicity, and religion to divide people. If he got screwed by a Jewish guy, that's not every Jew. But he did make his point. Yes. And I have a project mentality. Somebody shoot me, shoot at me, kill one of my homeboys, then it's fuck they whole block. Now you get it? I think Kanye's point is all over the place. He hates Jews, but he identifies as a Jew. But I think his primary goal was to break up groupthink and cut through the media control that grips people and makes them afraid that anything they say might end up being attacked as offensive. This smoke screen? that's been created to make us so afraid to speak up for ourselves, this is just a smoke screen. And even if it's not, right, even if they're gonna like take us down every chance they get, that's cool too. What I'm but, trying to explain to you is like, whether it's my money, my reputation, and my life, I'm not, I'm not taking this shit no more. Mm -hmm. They didn't bully, you know, would you agree with the things that I'm saying? 
about the Jewish record labels, about artists getting fucked. Thanks, Kanye, for calling out the record labels and the corrupt media, but it's not just Jews there. It's a culture of corruption that involves every race. So I think his argument is off, but let me know what you think. In the end, he boiled down that his argument is largely about jealousy. He's jealous of highly successful Jews and wants that for black people. But I am because I'm jealous because I'm a human being. And you want the same and, for... And I'm a competitor. I want my people to rise up like the Jewish people. I'm a competitor. I feel that if I am not the leader, I'm one of the strongest, most vocal leaders. And I feel Lauren is the leader. I feel like there's multiple people that are leaders in this community, right? And I'm jealous of the Jewish community. I'm jealous of how the fact so they- So why not say that as I'm opposed to- I'm saying it right now. Okay. It's coming now, let me community. say it, bro. <laughs> okay. This is coming now. All right. All right. All right. It's coming now, right. let me say it. You have to get to it. I'm uh. jealous. I'm jealous of the fact of how they don't abort their babies. I'm jealous of the fact of how they stay with their wives. I'm jealous of the fact mm. of how they do business together. I'm jealous of the fact of how they read their contracts and understand their contracts. I'm jealous of the fact. I'm jealous of the way uh, Jewish people do business. And I'm jealous, not just for me, but for our entire culture. And I believe that once we rise up, that we will have a position to be able to serve God because it's not about taking over the world. God runs the world. We need to be in service to God and we all need to be in service to God. So I'm jealous. And you know what? Because when I would speak on the, the Khaled and Drake record, why I speak on that? Out of jealousy. When I was speaking on Drake, why I speak on that? Out of jealousy. While I'm speaking on the Jewish culture, why I'm speaking on that? Out of jealousy. I'm jealous of the Jewish culture. The reaction to Kanye is really interesting. Some people disdain him, but there's a bunch of other people that really love him for this insane month he's had. And I think it is largely because he does not care what people think. He's going to say whatever he wants to say. And that's sadly very rare these days and refreshing to a lot of people, even though it's not cool to, to hate on a certain group of people because how they were born. But let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.